Hey everyone. So, there's been a bit of a conversation going on about um, ridicule. So I guess mainly it was uh, Jack Together for Peace that was talking about it. Um, and initially he brought up what I thought was a pretty bad comparison, which was ridiculing religion um, and comparing that to ridiculing um ridiculing race, which are two different things in my opinion, because one is a belief, the other is an inherent characteristic which is unchangeable, non-malleable. So ridiculing someone for a belief is certainly in my eyes different from ridiculing someone um, for some feature that they have and can't actually um, do anything about. But that said, I don't really and I mean, I know this is going to be some, probably somewhat unpopular amongst uh, the atheists that watch this video, um, but I'm going to have to agree with Jack on the essence of it. I don't really think it's cool to ridicule people when you're interacting with them. I think it's fine, you know, I, I watch atheist comedy, I think it's funny, some of it, you know, some of it's like all comedy not funny, but a lot of it's funny. Um, I personally find it, you know, quite amusing. You can do a lot with satire and uh, other forms of comedy when it comes to atheism. For example, you know, comparing the, what I believe, strange and somewhat ridiculous ideas that underlie most or pretty much all faiths and then comparing them to one another and then contrasting how, in fact, they are all sure of the truth of their texts when, in fact, they all kind of have similar weird beliefs, I find that funny. Um, but that to me is very different from actually ridiculing people to their face to start off with, and actually ridiculing people rather than just ridiculing um, their beliefs. And even when it comes to ridiculing be their beliefs, I think there's a limit. You don't need to be doing it in their face. If you, know, if you do it for the entertainment of fellow travelers, that's great. Um, if you do it somewhere where people can go and see it if they want to, and you might be able to convince some in the middle ground, that's great. Um, if you go and push into someone's face, I don't think it makes any sense um, if they are, in fact, believers. You know, middle ground people, we're all fighting for hearts and minds, I guess. So humor of various kinds is uh, an excellent tool for that. Um, but when it comes to believer, I don't think it's respectful. I don't think it's respectful, and I think it's counterproductive. Um, and when it came to me, and my, you know, the opposition that some atheists had to draw Muhammad Day, um, Thunderfoot brought up that um, we didn't oppose the laughing at creationist videos. Why are we now opposing, you know, this thing? And I guess the first thing is laughing at creationists was something that you could go to and then, you know, um, it was available there. It wasn't about necessarily pushing it at much, as much into people's faces as Draw Muhammad Day. But in the end, I actually agreed with him. I didn't necessarily think that it was the best approach because the videos did go um, a little far in ridiculing religious folks, even, I mean, creationists, the whole create hard and all of the, um, what's it, Venom, uh, poster boy for creationist stupidity and all that stuff, I don't know, it doesn't really buy, buy me, uh, at all, I mean, I have to, I, I just have to be honest, I don't, you know, if either you're having a rational debate or you're just making fun of someone, and if you're just making fun of someone, I guess you can do that, but I honestly have no respect for that. Even if they're even if there's someone that's completely wrong, even if there's someone that's completely off base, um, you know, I guess if they're an evil person, despicable, then I guess I can understand it. But if they're just misguided, or, you know, I believe they're misguided, I don't really see where that's going. What positive effect that should have, and I don't think it's um, it's it's I don't think it's they're people they're human beings. I think we we 
owe them a certain amount of respect, no matter how silly we think their beliefs are. Um, and I mean, <laughs> it, it's always this thing. We're on YouTube, we're kind of a majority, um, so I, really I do get the feeling that's why there's a lot more push. Um, and then the majority, and then, you know, you have some people that are pushing, and then you have all of the kind of the follower-ons, the hanger-ons, and they come out, and where where the, the leader was kind of going at it a bit too rough, they'll go and they'll really kick and, you know, scratch and go in full bore, uh, and say really nasty and rude things. And, you know, you can dismiss this, oh, sticks and stones will hurt my bones. But no, actually, words do hurt. And even if they're the words of faceless trolls, if there are that many faceless trolls posting ridiculous, stupid stuff on your YouTube channel, that sucks. I think that sucks. I don't want anyone in my name doing that. I'm putting that out right now. And I see this when it comes to theist videos. I see it when it comes to videos done by feminists. And even if it's Iron Myth Purr or someone that's way out there on the edge of... On the edge of... of what's what you know what's even worth debating um even then uh, attacking their character in ways which are i mean i don't i really don't i really don't think it's called for or okay behavior and i have to say i have less respect for the people that do that than i do for the people that they're attacking um and then sometimes the people they're attacking do the same thing so they kind of balance out in respect level in my book. Um, I mean, the other thing I wanted to say about this whole group phenomenon, I mean, first of all, like, I have opinions, strong opinions about stuff, but I'm in a minority, so, um, you know, and those are a lot of opinions, like, I'm very left-wing, I'm almost always, especially online, in a minority, um, so, you know, I'm a vegetarian, I'm Personally, I have very strong feelings about that, but I know I can't go around ridiculing people and uh, attacking them because I won't have any backup. I'll just be shot down. But, you know, what if 90% of us were vegetarians? Then we'd be going after you meat eaters and we'd be ridiculing you and, uh, you know, t telling you in all sorts of horrible ways what despicable people you are and how stupid and whatever, you know, the whole thing that always happens, and I'm not implying that's what you are if you're not a vegetarian, I'm just saying, it doesn't matter what particular belief you are, if you're in the majority, then there's this whole group psychology effect, where everyone just gets rabid, and the crowd just goes for people, that whole, that whole army of trolls that people bring from their videos, that go in attack mode, um, and it would really be nice if people acknowledged that that was happening and told the people supposedly on their team to, you know, grow up more often. I think that would be really good. I mean, you know, everyone seems to be waving their hands. Oh, it's not my responsibility. They, you know, they're whoever. They're just 14-year-old kids. not my fault. Well, say something about it. <laughs> why, why, you know, you can't just sit, sit by silently, let people do all of their... If they're insulting and they're, you know, and just, uh, well, you know, can't help it. Um, and then go right on and rabble rouse some more. Um, I mean, to, to that point as well, like, you know, I mean, I get that maybe people do it because they're a majority on YouTube, but in their real life they struggle with their, for example, atheism if they're Americans. Uh, I see how that would work, and then you want to kind of, let it out on people, and the net is a great place for that. Um, but, you know, you're really just doing what they're doing to you in real life, to other people online, it's probably not a good thing. And the other thing that shows me is, uh, we, you know, part of the, the, the rhetoric and reasoning is always, well, we have the moral high ground, we have the intellectual high ground, we're high and mighty, and that's always what any majority group thinks um, and then they think that they can go in and attack people and be rude to people and it's justified because of how degenerate, how stupid, how tarded their opposition is 
and I don't really see any difference between what atheists do and what a lot of these other groups that we complain about a lot do. I really don't. I mean, if we lived in an atheist world and we had a couple of believers around, um, if things go the way they do right now, then, you know, I don't know if it would be that much more pleasant for the believers to live in an atheist society than it is for atheists to live in a religious society. Um, well, certainly, hopefully, atheists wouldn't um, try to do anything theocratic, but then again, that's a lot of religious people don't do that either, and people don't discriminate between the two. They just are religious. You believe there's a god? Well, that means you're fair game. I'm going after you with, you know, and it's it's not cool. I know it's the internet. I know everyone gets all of the, mm, but you know, if for yourself personally. No matter what all the other guys do, it the internet it's the internet is not an excuse for you as an individual to act like an asshole. It's not. That's the thing. People it's like, oh yeah, it's the internet. I can be an asshole. Uh, it's okay. Everyone else is. No, it's it's not actually okay. Yeah, you have to deal with it. You're on the internet. People are going to be assholes to you because they don't care and they know they can get away with it. That doesn't excuse you. And with all of the people going on about atheist, um, you know, atheist movements and the atheist community and so on and so forth. If you're going on about these things, if you're going on about Atheists United, um, then that means you're implicitly taking some responsibility for what that community does. So then the excuse that, well, you know, yes, you said something and a thousand trolls went and spammed that person. Um, they, you know, that's not good enough. It's, uh, it's sh Of course, you can't stop it if they don't want to stop. But in my view, at least, it's at least your opinion to talk about it and to say that that's not okay. Trolls are, you know, trolls are going to troll. Haters are going to hate. But you, in my f opinion, owe that measure of, <laughs> of, of respect and integrity to others and to yourself. You know, if you don't want to be any better than than the supposed opposition, um, all right. But then I'm as much, you know, then I'm not on their side or your side. That's that's just me. And I I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be quite. I, I mean, I've already been making this kind of determination for myself. If you're gonna treat other people like crap, then I'm gonna make it a point to you know kind of be in your face. Not so much on YouTube because, you know. But if if it if it happened on YouTube that I got into a situation like that or in real life, then I will do so. And it doesn't matter to me whether the guy that I'm defending is an atheist that I'm defending for a theist or vice versa. I really don't care. Um, what matters is who's being the jerk. I guess that's what I really want to say. Long ramble. Um, but... Yeah, I mean, and uh, the other thing, there was, you James made a video about that comedian that was making fun of atheists, and I know you James is in no way a hypocrite on this because he's been making videos about not, you know, not making fun of religious people as well, um, and obviously videos about how draw Muhammad Day and various things aren't great. Um, but yeah, I mean, I I understand, I I understood his video there. I mean, you're sure it was just a comedian. But that could negatively influence some people. I mean, my personal opinion is if it's a comedian that's performing on a stage, you know, probably not that big a deal. But the general principle I completely understand, which is, um, which is ridicule is not okay. And it's not okay when people do it to us. It's not okay when we do it to other people. And whenever, my last, my, honestly, my last little bit, Whenever you're in the majority, whenever you're in the bigger crowd, that's where you have to be most careful. That's when you're most likely to act unethically and to be a jerk. That should be a red warning light flashing. I'm in a big crowd. They're going to pull me along if I'm not careful and I might do something that I should not do or should not be proud of. When you're in a big crowd, that's when you have to be most careful. It's not that we can't organize, that we can't do anything together because big crowds are inherently going to corrupt us all, but we do have to be extra careful.
because if we're not careful then they will corrupt us and we'll just be a herd of nasty nasty assholes that trample over other people and you know I don't want to be a part of that but I do want to be part of lots of fun happy people that are going around and you know doing all those things that we supposedly stand for it's like spreading reason and um, humanist values and making people happy without God and all of that stuff uh, anyways I'll see you guys all later